In this video we're going to take a look at attachments and cards in Bot Framework. Before we get started I just want to draw your attention to two things. First thing is the documentation. Um, I'm going to be using this as a basis for all my demos today. So I'll provide the link to this in the description so you can have a look at this in your own time. The second thing is the source code that I'm going to be using and demonstrating. So briefly I'll talk you through, we've got a single dialogue. And inside that dialogue, we have a message receive start. Get out of the way. And inside that, all we're doing is we're reading the message that's sent in by the user. So this bit here, we're saying if it's not null and the text is not null, then we're taking an action based on the text provided. So if it's a static card, we're going to show a static card. If it's a hero card, we'll show a hero card, a thumbnail card, and so on. Each of these show methods has the as the code that's responsible for creating the, um, the the cards and the attachments. Okay, so with that in mind, we'll have a look at what this looks like in Facebook Messenger, and we'll we'll have a look through the code in detail. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the different types of cards that I've shown you in Facebook Messenger, just so you can see what it looks like. Here we have this Facebook page. I can click this button to send a message. So I'm just going to type in the first card, which is static card. And you can see we've just got a picture returned there. The static card code is really simple. All we're doing is adding um, an attachment which is the image URL. Really straightforward. We send that using Bot Framework and Bot Framework takes care of delivering that to the channel. The hero card, again, is quite straightforward. We're actually adding two images to our hero card. Now, if the channel supports more than one image being displayed, it'll automatically map that to the channel metadata. But in the case of Facebook, where it only supports one, it'll just display the first image. And then you can see we're building up a, a list of buttons. In this case, we've just got one button before finally defining our hero card and adding that to the message as an attachment. Next, we have the thumbnail. So I'm going to type in thumbnail card. Very similar to the hero card. In fact, it looks exactly the same as the hero card. And this is something that you're going to see as you as you create your cards to target different channels. You'll see the way the um, channels display those messages varies based on the platform. So, you know, it's always a good idea to test that to make sure your cards look as, as you expect as you're targeting new channels. Now if we take a look at the thumbnail code, you'll see it's very similar to the hero code. We're building up a, a list of images. Um, again, we're creating a list of buttons and we're adding a single button to that. And then we're creating a thumbnail card and adding that to our channel. So in Facebook Messenger's case, it looked, looked exactly the same as the hero card, but in other channels you'd see a slightly different representation. Next we have the receipt card which shows a, an itemized list of shopping cart items. So you can see we've got a, um, a confirmation here with two products, pork shoulder and bacon, and with a the total there. So our final um, card that I want to show you is the receipt card. And this one's a bit longer just because we've got more information on, on the card. It's all in line with what you've already seen. So again, we build up a list of images and we add our card image to the list of images build up a list of buttons, add an action to the list. Then we create line items. And in there we can provide title, subtitle, price, quantity, metadata about the item. So we're adding two, one for pork, one for bacon, adding those to the receipt list before finally creating a receipt card and adding that to the message as an attachment. So there you have it. You've seen how Bot Framework can provide conveniences for sending attachments and cards over different channels. In the next video, we'll have a look at how you can send more channel-specific data using channel metadata. But for now, thank you for watching. As always, if you have any feedback, positive or negative, please leave it below. Until next time, thank you.